Hello everyone, welcome back to Kim Loves Artie. I made a video last week and forgot to upload it. And I didn't like what I was wearing. I was kind of wearing my pajama top, but it was cute. But So anyway, I just deleted it. So I'll show you last week's and this week's picture and what we're going to color for next week. So here's the coloring book. Now, if you don't have this coloring book, it's okay. Use any coloring book you have or print out a picture off the internet, color it, and use the hashtag. But if you are wanting this book, it's on Amazon. But Rosemary told us this yesterday that some of the pictures, depending on when you ordered this book, some of the pictures aren't going to be in this book. So if you happen to get one and she picks, um, well, I'll show you what's for next week. This little lady. So if you get one and she's not in there, just color something else. So anyway, okay. And it's hosted by Rosemary from Rosemary's You Rock Art. And don't forget to check out other people. Just tap the hashtag and you, it'll take you right to the other people that are in, involved. Okay. So last week we had to color. Uh, where is he? We gotta find, here we go. Last week we had to color, hold on, well, this little guy, he was so cute, he is cute. I used cre uh, colored pencils for that, and I don't know if you can see, but I added other little raindrops, I drew them myself. Here's one, here's one, here's one, I put one there. And I should have put one on his foot. But, and there's some over here. And some on his umbrella. And I put little cheeks on his, in his cheek area. <laughs> this was really cute. I forgot to color his eyes. Oh, well, that's okay. Okay. And this week she had us color the flamingo. Like a lady, I think. I think it was a lady that didn't have the flamingo. They had a hard time finding it. So that's when she explained about um, depending on when you ordered it or purchased it, it has different pages in it. But anyway, here's the flamingo. And I used colored pencils. And then, like I showed you for this, for next week, is this little lady. She reminds me of Ariel. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, now I have on the create part. Oh, sorry for the noise. I have been making some um, cat toys with catnip in it. So let me get them out because they're in a bag and it's going to be noisy. So hold on. Okay, here's a mouse. The puppy. Here's the mouse. I made a few of those, and I found a cute octopus. I thought the cats would like that. I'm not going to show you that, all of them. Uh, just a ball. I actually started making a heart, and it came out really weird looking. <laughs> so I took it apart and used this part for just a ball. And then the other one, I used as a, or I made into, made in, not used, I made into a ball, and then the other side is the octopus. So, yeah, I made quite. A, I made two, three, three octopus. These are easy to make. If anybody wants to make them, I'll put the link down below in the description box where I got the pattern. This one is a little long, <laughs> but I don't think. I think they're considered a cat toy, but they're for anybody. You can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. And this didn't come out too good. It's a mouse. Another mouse pattern. Um, oh, here's a, here's a patriotic mouse. <laughs> oh, and I made a rocket. I made a patriotic rocket. Hmm. And another mouse. 
I'll just show them all to you. What the heck? Show them all. <laughs> and a navy blue mouse. These were fun to make too. I'll leave the pattern down below if anybody's interested. They're they're pretty easy and quick to make. This guy ain't kind of short. I stiffed him on his tail. And this is a stingray. But I didn't it calls for eyes, but I didn't put eyes on it. And here's his belly. I just made the the um shape of it and another taco but i forgot to put the red on but that's okay and another mouse Boing. So. and that's it oh wait oh did i show no i gotta show you something else hold on i don't know if i showed you guys i sewed some of the squares together on my um, under the sea blanket. So let me go get it and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got some tails to weave in, but I'm not going to do that till after it's all done. But here it is so far. I'll make sure you can see it all. And I made two more squares. I tried to do two at a time so that I, I have them for the months to come. And when they're done, I think next week, or next week, I wish it was weekly. But anyway, next month I think it's going to be the submarine. So I'm excited about that. And then when I get that done, I'll sew it on to the blanket. Because I, 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 I'm starting to not lose them but they're piling up and i'm starting to get confused not confused well a little concerned about the order so that's why i started sewing them together so i would know which order to put them in if that makes sense but anyway that's all folks i think yeah that's all thank you for watching uh, like, comment, share, and tap that bell so you get all my notifications. Have a blessed week, and stay safe with all these storms. I think today is the last day of the storms, so for a while. My poor sister, she had two trees fall on her, um, well, one fell on the trailer, because she lives in a mobile home. One hit the, tr fell on the trailer, and then hit the, hit her shed, and then, that was Monday night, and then Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday afternoon, yesterday, the other one fell. But it missed the house and hit the the shed again. So she had two fall on the shed. Oh, hold on. Well, I'll show you in another video. I don't want to do this with in Rosemary's video. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Like I said, like, comment, share, and don't forget to check out the other people that are um, involved in this collab. Bye.